Good afternoon. Um, thank you for having me here. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit uh, about implementing re secure remote rig monitoring with major si without major system modifications. And this is a thing that we have to implement uh, with our clients. And I'm going to explain a little bit more as soon as we're going down on the presentation. OK? So small agenda that we have is on a little bit of introduction, the challenge, which is how to establish a secure connection to shore without drastically modifying the existing systems, and the solution that we provide, and questions and answers, of course. So let me give you a big introduction. My name is Gain at Fredo Montemar, being an electrical engineer with a focus in control and instrumentation. Been doing this for more than 25 years. And the last 10 years has been developing and implementing critical controls over the industry and safety system. I work for National Oil World Barco, and it's based in Houston, Texas, uh, with 600 locations around the world. I don't know if you're familiar with NOV, NOV does, does everything uh, for the drilling world, OK? And the main objective of NOV is getting a one solution for drilling. Everything that is required, we are trying to provide. Okay? And we have more than 170 years. We currently have around 30,000 employees. We were more before the oil price down, but, and we are one of the biggest and largest drilling production equipment manufacturers in the world. Like I said, my specific group is the pressure control group, and my specific Little and small world is blow up preventers, BOPs. I don't know if you're familiar with the, with the term. I will assume everybody who saw the news and the movie for the Big Water Horizon know what a blow up preventer is or at least heard something about it. Okay. So, subsea blow up preventers. NOV has currently uh, 120 mugs. These are the deep offshore uh, BOPs. It can be between whatever is more than 300 meters to 15,000, 16,000 feet and production size and drilling, okay? Uh, the main focus of my work on the BOP is the control system, which controls okay, uh, all the parts, all the valves, all the hydraulic actions, everything. Uh, they are located offshore in a rig platform or in a drilling ship. It could be a jack-up too. Um, they protect the rig from pressure kicks. It doesn't matter if it's an oil or it's the gas uh, drilling, okay? The challenge is how to establish a secure connection, again, without having a drastically modified the existing system. What is the problem? The problem is, our systems are being manufactured for a long, long time. Okay, we have systems that are really, really old. They range, you know, probably, we have systems that have been working for more than 15 years, okay? Uh, we don't control that, or clients, I will assume that everybody now have old clients, they don't want to change anything. Another thing is, there are new drilling monitoring regulations that were taking effect by the end of this year, and Bessie, if you want to go and take a look, it's there in the, the name of the, of the regulation, is requiring to monitor all the drilling operation offshore. And they say they want real data. That's another discussion for another day, but that's what they are asking. In addition, yes, our clients need to get the live data from the operations because they want, like everything, they want to verify the status, evaluate, analyze, and take actions, or call and tell them, hey, please don't do this, do this, and coordinate maintenance to all the equipment like uh, everybody else wants to do. Okay, typically the rig controls are the typical systems that are set and forget, or at least that's the way it was before. You will go set your systems, package everything, deliver it to the rig, and if you didn't need to change any function or any functionality, you let them alone. They are working, don't touch them. 
they are completely R gap isolated, so there is nobody else, there is nothing touching them, nothing modifying them. So it was working really good for a long time until Bessie come up and say, okay, now we want data. And our client says, oh, we want data also. And we become, okay, how we get this? Let me give you a little bit in depth about all the systems. All the systems are locally controlled. They have different, two different physical locations for everything. Why? If you have a catastrophic event anywhere on the rig, you never lose control of your system. If somebody's familiar, we have also subsea, everywhere, everything is redundant, redundant, which is a challenge, communications, hydraulically, everything there is duplicated to the minimum extent. So nothing, not a single point of failure anywhere. Okay? So why is security so important? Well, like I was saying, everybody knows about the Deepwater Horizon disaster. Now to think that somebody can trigger an event like that remotely if they gain access to the system. It's scary. Some of the rig systems, like I was saying, they are still running Windows 95. We still have computers there that they run and, you know, spin drives. They have all memories. They have these shoe boxes that nobody knows where they come from as a computers. They are a big, big issue. And the clients, oh, they say, oh, well, this thing has been working for 15 years. What are you going to have to change it? What are you going to have to pay certain amount of high dollars to change something that's still working and is doing fine? So also, another big challenge for us is I don't know if anybody's familiar how rigs work. The rigs are owned by one people. They are hired by a different company. And sometimes even they are operated by different person. So we have a crazy mix of who is owning the connection, the infrastructure, who is changing switch, networking. is, is never a one person contact. It's changing now because everybody's getting aware of the cybersecurity risk, but because the BOP systems were not connected, we were like, okay, I'm fine, nothing will happen with us, we are fine. Now that we're connecting, we're saying, okay, we need to do something, and we need to do something that isolates us completely, and it doesn't create a risk, and we don't have to go and trust on the IT guys, on the rig, or whoever, can change and modify a cable or connecting the switch in the ROM port and put a risk on our system. So with many different devices, access, asset and protocols on the RIP network, it's critical that RIP controls are completely segmented. We limited the access for patching updates. Security device will be typically maintenance free, which we know it's not the case, but. So we started our research in different devices, and our attention got with the data diets or unidirectional gateways, whatever name you want to use. Um, so one of the, also some of the requirements was we have systems that have a big amount of tags just for the blow-up preventer. Some of them can have 50,000 OPC or PI tags, it depends what the interface that we have there. And sometimes we want them one second samples just for the analog values. The other ones are in, by default on change. And so could be the multiple protocols have to be transmitted outbound through a security perimeter and through multiple servers. Offshore bandwidth is a problem. It's a high cost commodity, and it could be, you know, an increase for one megabyte, it could be $15,000 a month or more, depends on where you are and how you are. And one of the other requirements was, okay, we don't want anybody from shore to get access to our asset. You have to be completely isolated. So after almost a year of testing, 
And with different devices, different companies, different protocols, internal devices, architectures, we got to a, what we decided was what we wanted. Uh, we put a, an owl data diode that probably some people have seen in the, in the floor. Uh, an NOV provide firewall, and uh, that, that it will connect to the local network. That solution will also jump to a VPN, and it will connect to NOV server farm on shore, and we will digest the data and share it if it's part of the contract, or give us what we call rig sentry, which is our package for sharing that information online, secure, so our next qualification is we ran this solution through a third-party certifying body, which rate our solution as a security level four from external threats. I'm talking about over the internet, okay? Over external from shore to offshore. We didn't do anything on this case for internal assaults from the internal rig. Uh, networking just because if you push a button on the BOP system, you can do the same damage that you can do inside the rig. So for us, that was not the vector that it was the risk. The vector for us, the risk was, okay, getting access remotely, okay? NOV has select OSPI as our database, our database archive, which helped the data compression and the historical side of all the systems. This is a small book diagram, very simple. Sorry, I cannot be more specific, but that's the only thing that I can share with you. And you see the BOP is connected to the BOP firewall, and from there, it goes to our VPN and goes to shore, okay? So we propose this solution to our clients needing a secure way to connect offshore, uh, to shore without compromise the integrity of the system without affecting the operation and keeping the old legacy systems, we, without allowing the influence from any other asset on the rig to our system too, and no need for any upgrade on what they have. We could keep that apart. I don't know, probably a lot of people here that is uh, around my age, probably know what is put in a system on Windows 95, Windows XP, with OPC, with DCOMs. The typical stuff that we did 10 years, 15 years ago was disable the firewalls, disable all the stuff because we needed to connect. We needed to ship, we needed to do. Today, we will not do that. I will assume that nobody here will do that. Well, that's the kind of system that we have right now up there on the legacy side. There are systems that have zero to non-security on, on anything because they were not needed. They probably have a, some of them have a common password, I will assume. So it's, it's a big risk. It's a very, very big risk. And the clients don't have the money right now or they don't want to invest the money because the systems are working fine. So this solution has allowed us to connect them to shore and satisfy everybody and make them happy, so we are happy. We have implemented already two full systems uh, with the diode, and we have you know, a big queue, thank God, for this. And we are trying also to implement this on, on the low cost side of the system, which is land rigs, which I will assume it will happen soon. And then probably that's, that's all for today. Thank you, and if you have any questions, I'm very happy to answer what I can.